It may be an unpopular opinion, but the show is much better when the Mitchells lead it. Every time there's a Mitchell-led episode, things getting elevated and the writing is naturally better. I know they're repetitive and people have grown tired of their tropes, but they're still the best family the show has and one of the ones that can bring the show up. Also, Uncle Harold is the best bloke alive. I don't... I don't agree with this anymore, honestly. There would have been a time um, where I would have said that the Mitchells should be the centre of the show. But I think it depends where, like, what kind of era you grew up enjoying, right? Yeah, because everyone's favourite family now is the Taylors, of course. Um, but I feel like if you grew up in the 90s and 2000s, your favourite family would be the Mitchells. Yeah. I guess if you grew up in the early 2000s, it might be the Watts family. Or the, because the of, um, Slaters in that time period as well. That's yeah, or, or Slaters, even though I... All the Jacksons in the uh, early 2010s, followed by the Carters. Like, it just depends on where you grew up. But I honestly disagree with this um, because I just... I A Mitchell episode worked fine 20 years ago, yes. A Mitchell episode worked seven years ago when Peggy died, yes. Yeah. But when it's just Bill crying, like, I love you, <laughs> It's like, I don't care, Bill. Fuck off, please. I know you're supposed to be the centre of attention, but you're not the main character anymore. You haven't been the main character since Peggy died. Fuck off. Like, I don't know if people feel that way, like, about Phil either. It's just, he's no longer a lead character. So any story he gets, I'm yeah. like... Like, he's... yeah, he's still a big character, but he's not He's not the forefront anymore. The forefront has been separated from him. But he's basically Looney Tunes him out of it. He's standing on a floorboard and we're cutting around him. But we're not acknowledging the fact that he's fallen through the floorboard. We're just yeah, acknowledging like his he's character, there. through sheer just not having much to do over the last couple of years, he's fallen a decent chunk. He can still, like, turn it on. Like, that's why at Christmas time I was like, he's acting. And, you know, even into January, he's also been acting again. He's been doing more. Like, he still has that leading man potential. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he just went, you know what, I'm just going to sit out, like, 2021 EastEnders. You know what, I'll be here, but don't fucking make me do anything. <laughs> it's shit. But, you know, now with the better writers, you can tell he's like, fuck it, give me something to fully sink my teeth into. Maybe not, like, the main lead, but... I... I don't... I still disagree with this, though, fundamentally, because... It feels like in these moments, all the family has to play up to where they should be, but they're not there, like, otherwise, right? Like, oh, yeah, Ben and Jay together as mates, they've been fucking slacking each other off for the last six months. <laughs> I, I, I feel like... I feel like it depends what era of the Mitchells they're talking about, because obviously they could be talking about when Ronnie and Roxy were there, yeah. or when it was just Grant there with Peggy, or it could just be Peggy and Frank. Or it could just be Phil and Dan. We don't know. Um, because that, did they specify? You know. Uh, well, they were more so just saying about the funeral episode lately. Oh, that right. Was, that the that that was the Mitchell episode that gave them this unpopular opinion. Okay. Like they they look good as a family, sure, but. Like, <laughs> I don't, I just, I don't think so. The visual, it looks good, and it, like, but they're never this unit otherwise. They're never like this. Um, and I want them to be, but I still feel like they're missing a couple of key pieces. Like, Phil needs, like, a very, like, Cat wasn't there. You know? When, because of the marriage, they should have been angling Kat as she may be a Slater, but she is now a Mitchell. You know, have her be this, like, head figure. Which is what she's going to inevitably be. She's going to be the... I don't know, like, who she's going to become. Obviously, she'll be her own character, but... You know, they'll still want Kat to be, like, a Pat or a Peggy or, like, even a Shirley. Like, one of those three types of characters to be that big matriarch figure. But instead of raising Cat up to this pedestal, Cat's just been fucking sat on the side, like twiddling her fucking thumbs. Like to 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 remake the Mitchells, you need some of that those characters to become like the fucking, I like the Peggies, I like like these sorts of. But you just don't have that in the depth of who they currently have on the show. Is my issue with this? 
like you know the Mitchells are great you know fucking Phil it's like sweet uh kind of not as hard as Grant not as like fucking not as but like a bit more sensitive and then you have Grant who's this like hard man who's seen some shit and he's got a lot of issues but he still wants to be a good man um then you have Sam who's the constant fuck up and the brothers have to be like all right there you go. Then you have Peggy, this overbearing fucking matriarch who's like will fucking chew you out if you real if you mess up the, like with the family. And then even bringing it on later, you have Ronnie and Roxy who are like the cousins who are still Mitchells at the core. They still have a lot of those like fundamentals with family and protecting your own, but still a very different kind of fucking character. Ronnie's more like Archie in a way. Roxy. Roxy's pretty much Sam as well, but you know, at least they ha allowed Roxy to do things. It's just we're, we're a long way. It's it is cool to play on the history, but it's a reason why they're not that interesting a family outside these long outside these like solo episodes, in my opinion. Because they're just not there. They they should be like the Brannons. They brought in Penny. They brought in Lauren. Um, they've kind of, they've raised up Amy to be a lot more interesting. Like, you're bringing back these key members of the family. Obviously, next step is bringing back Max. Then that's a full family with a full range of characters, a full range of, like, different age ranges. So they're not just... Because you don't have many, like, young Mitchells who are trying to be like Phil or trying to be like fucking Grant or just trying to be... You don't really have that younger crop who's kind of carrying the torch for them. You just have, you still have Phil <laughs> and Billy. <laughs> like, you know, I th the balance is off. But let's see what people think about it. Um, I say Emma. Imagine if Emma and Phil get together and Emma becomes this like head bitch matriarch figure. That'd be fucking sweet. She could pull it off. This, yeah. like, slightly colder, more calculating, we're doing this for the fam. You know, like, oh, that sounds fucking sick. Not sure if that'll happen, because who the fuck knows what Emma's doing right now. Like, will she come back? She has to come back at some point, right? <laughs> like, I don't fucking know anymore. Like, maybe she's a part of Ben leaving? Don't know. It's hard to tell as of now. Uh, but yeah, people say they're a very well-executed family. When they all walk into the church together, overcoats on, Ben and Jay teasing Ricky about Sal. Phil's dry remarks, Sam playing mother, they just look really good. The visual of the group works incredibly well, and the banter they give them comes across as natural over a family unit. The Mitchells being hard and dodgy but not full-on gangsters is a great thing. Excuse me. Plus, it's actually refreshing to have believable family driver about moaning, about moaning over inheritance money or cheating. Don't get me wrong, I love the crazy stuff the show can deliver, but that was rather normal, all things considered, and it worked to give that harsh but real feel that only EastEnders and the Mitchells can do. <laughs> I don't, don't know, mate. I don't know, lads. I'm, I'm not biting. I'm not biting on this one. The family drama is best with the Mitchells. The episode where Ronnie finds out Danielle as her daughter will never be topped. It, well, it was a very good reveal, fair play. Um... People saying they liked Uncle Harold. Someone says tonight's episode was elite. It has a very diluted Sopranos feel. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't... I thought the funeral episode was alright. I didn't think it was fucking amazing. I'll be real with you. Like, it could just be me being knackered, but I'm just not, I'm just not a believer in the Mitchells at this current point in time. <laughs> like... It's just, it's not where I'm standing on it at all. Yeah, because the funeral happened this week, and also the secret of Ka of Phil, Jean, and Emma coming out this week, which feels miles apart. Yeah, um, it does. Yeah, for, I I mean, that, that was this week. week. Yeah. <laughs> because that's when, I believe that's when yeah. fucking... It was, it was. It's just, it feels like it's been a hot minute since that time. <laughs> um. Where was I going with this before I threw my pint up the window? 
Um, I just don't agree. I just don't agree with any of these people. I think you're all fucking idiots if you think modern day Phil can be. He can do a solo episode. He's Phil, of course he can, but he doesn't have that energy in him as much as he did twenty years ago. I'm not saying it's with age, but it's just when you've been doing well, a job it's, for it's where he's been positioned. It's just he's not where, been positioned as head motherfucker. He is just he feels like a I background don't... character for the most part. It's just, it, when you're doing a job for 20 plus years, even 30 plus years for Phil, you you are eventually just gonna write coffee, clock in, coffee, sandwich, clock out, coffee, clock in, coffee, sandwich, clock out, co- uh, clock in, coffee, sandwich, clock out. You're just gonna be doing that for 30 plus years and you're gonna be like, oh, Jesus. Oh, time to clock in, coffee. Oh. Yeah, like, I, I don't necessarily think it's how he's been positioned, which means that he's not able to have as much of an impact because he isn't like he isn't head fucking head motherfucker Phil Mitchell. In the last couple of years, he's been more of a background character of anything. Like that's the big issue with it, in my opinion. Obviously, they since he's been acting at Christmas time, did a good, great job at that. Amazing. This month as well, he's been doing really good. If they keep it like this, that's the Phil Mitchell we want, you know. That's the fucking main storyline Phil Mitchell that we need. Um, but, like, the family alone, just it doesn't carry nearly as much weight as Phil does. Um, someone says, I'm a Mitchell's fan. I want Cat to be the next Peggy, not Sam. Really hoping this Emma business doesn't ruin Cat and Phil, although I think they were over when he slept with Emma, with Emma and it wasn't unfair. <laughs> well, uh, the difference three days makes. <laughs> the difference three days makes. Someone says Sharon as Pat. I also Sharon I think the Shirley funny Angie. thing. Hmm? Sharon is Shirley Angie. Yeah, yeah. Sharon is Sharon is her own unique character. She can't be. She. Sharon, with the legacy she has, she has to be a mixture of Den and Angie. That's who she has to be. Because well, that, that character is fucking amazing as a whole. More, more the aggression of Den and less the, uh, you know, sleazy sleep with everyone, Den, let's be honest. Yeah. But that, like, calculating, don't fuck with my life, I'll ruin you. Don't ruin me, please. Um... Someone says Louise as a com- like Louise Louise. Well, the issue is with people trying to be the next Peggy. No one's going to be the next Peggy because they want to be their own character, right? You can't just the 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 sh- the <laughs> redditors love to say Elaine's trying to be Peggy too much, but she's not. She's trying to be Elaine, <laughs> and, but everybody compares her to being the next Peggy, but. <laughs> because pe- you can't not take some of the characteristics as Peggy. Peggy is such a defined character because she was that fucking lead character for the bulk of her time on the show. And it's just, it's kind of wild. It's like, you can't compare some characters because we don't like those characters. But also, other characters should be the next one, and it's, it's just, just it, it. Why it's, can't they be like it? Because I don't like them. Okay, Sam, exactly. It's that kind of thing where it's like, I don't like this person. Why are they trying to be insert this character? And it's like, well, they're not. They're trying to be their <laughs> own character. They're not. Like, that's why don't? You're, that's what you're trying to say. They are. That's my issue. With and it. then it's like, but why don't they make a next version of insert this character? I just think, mate, the minute, you, the minute you're saying they're trying too hard to make this character insert of this, uh, like, of, of a past character, I know you want a past character to be resembled in a new character. What the fuck do you want? Do you want, do you want the, do you want the pie or not? Like, we're giving you a strawberry pie. Do you want it or not? <laughs> do you want, like, like, do you here, want, you want it? Like, here you want it? Do you want to be a fancy new character, or do you want them to be like an old character? Like, like, the, like, animals, fair enough, because you can't, like, 
I, all the animals are going to act the exact same, so you can't really like be like, Willy is the new Wellard, or Wellard's the new Willy. It's like, yeah, fair enough, that's fine. You can compare your animals, because what are they going to do? Oh, 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 cut the Titan. Woof. Oh, my God, he said a line. He <laughs> said a line. You know what I mean? You can compare animals, but you're comparing people, which is not going to work. Like, because if you look up the people, if you look up the celebrities, you you won't be... If you look up the Ryan Reynolds, you're not going to suddenly wake up and have the bank account of Ryan Reynolds, the fucking life of Ryan Reynolds. Hmm. It's the same in soaps. If you have a line, look up to Peggy. She's not going to be Peggy. She's yeah, not going to be like, people are just yeah, going to hate her because she's heart. trying too hard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just, it's stop stop comparing people because if you're going to compare people, you're then going to say, well, well, Elaine's trying too hard to be Peggy, but why doesn't Louise be Peggy? It's like, what do you want? Do you want the characters to be compared to legacy characters or do you not want them to be compared to legacy characters? Choose your fucking mind. Don't fucking flip-flop between it because then you're not making your point clear because then you're coming across as a delusional idiot because you're like... I do want it, but I don't want it. But I do, I do want. It's like mm-hmm. I do want this art, but I don't want this art. But but I do really <laughs> want this art. But I, I really want don't dessert, want this art. Only if it's my specific dessert that I like, it's and a, it's only my favorite. It's, it's a, like, yeah, mate, it's a mate, you can't you can't go to the shop and expect someone to have honey and mint ice cream. Maybe you got to curate that one. You know, <laughs> maybe you have to do it yourself. Like, you know what I mean? It is literally like, I want a dessert, okay? You have this menu. I want my specific dessert, my specific dessert. Like, if there's one thing on the menu, I but do, I want it. And I know it would be a bit of a stretch, but honestly, if I were to reassemble the Mitchells, even though Kathy's a Beale, I would put, I would put Kathy and Phil back together. Because Fair enough. Like, I'm not saying I want it because I don't, I don't really like she can do whatever the fuck she wants. But, like, if we're trying to s- establish the Mitchells need a big, like, headstrong matriarch, that's it's a part of the makeup for years. And no one really fits that fucking mold. And Kat should have been that, but they never put her in that position. But, like, I don't know. You need this united family and you need someone to bash everybody's heads together. But Phil's not doing that because Phil's got his own shit going on, and everybody else is too busy like struggling. Like even Honey, if she was a bit like more, like if she just suddenly decided, "Fuck you, I'm taking this seriously," but you just never get it, and that's why I I don't think Eastenders should be Mitchell focused anymore. Like it doesn't need to be. It's not been an, like it's not been a show about crime for a, a good couple of years now, like. That aspect has pretty much been slowly whittled away. It's it's funny though when you look at it. I obviously haven't read read the comments from the Aiden McGuire saga, but I'd assume they weren't perceived well because the standards before that were slowly fading away from crime. It was still there, but they were slowly fading out in the twenty tens. Yeah, basically they gave a prune juice and fucking flushed the guts out, and then went okay, have a shitload of these. Um, not not on constipators. Just have a shit ton of them, and fucking fucking constipated everyone, and then just shat it out again. Like I don't know because people would say they want crime in the show, and then you give them crime. You're like, well, but I don't want it now. You gave it to me, but I don't want it. <laughs> I wanted it five minutes ago, but but why did you bring oh, crime you, back? You you asked me for it five minutes ago. Why do you want it anymore? Ah uh, well. So, well, I just... No, you're you're fucking having what you ordered, right? You paid for it. I'm not fucking... I'm not I'm not your mummy. I'm not going to fucking slap the dummy out your mouth. You're fucking eating that shit. <laughs> like, that's what you wanted, so live with it. But yeah, Mitchells are long gone from the heyday. I still think they can be saved. I think they just need to bring in a couple more... They They need to... They need to bulk up the family. They need to get some more younger Mitchells in. Not like teen, but like young adults who are, you know, yeah, like trying to take over. You know, not not necessarily taking over the Mitchell Empire as such, but you need someone to fucking take. Ben's leaving. Jay's never going to be that character. Callum's probably leaving as well. Like, you need to fill the void that's going to be left by these big characters leaving. Um, And I, like, I just don't think they're getting there yet. 
Um, but yeah, there we are. Do you think EastEnders should be Mitchell focused? Uh, tell us in the comment section down below. Is it an unpopular opinion? I don't know. Tell me. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been Ash from watching Wolford. Been joined by Piggy. Yeah, I'm just I don't know with fans because I see it a lot in I know this is the outro but I do see it a lot in wrestling as well where like fans are like I want younger talent to be pushed and then it's like okay AW is giving you younger talent to push why are they pushing the older guys you need the older guys but all the younger guys yeah but I want younger guys pushed well if I give you younger guys to push you're gonna complain that they're nobodies and then if I give you older guys to push the younger guys you're gonna complain that we're pushing the older guys so what the fuck do you want. Like, it's what I fucking hate. It's, 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 yeah, it's, anything, a, it's, it's, like, it's inconsistent, right? It's inconsistent. Can you just that... be consistent with your takes? <laughs> exactly. Do you, you like them or not? You... Well, you know. It's like when you, ask someone a, when you ask someone a straight question, do you like A or B, yes or no? And they go, well, see, the thing about that is, and it's like I just asked you a normal, a simple question, yes or no. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's not as simple as that. It's like, yeah, yes, it is. Do you... Do you like the Mitchells the way they are, or do you not? Well, see, the bloody thing is that we're not winning. We're not. We're not getting anywhere, are we? Yeah, and I basically just I'm sick of it because I'm like, you can't tell me what you want, and then the minute you get what you want, turn around and go, but it's not what I wanted. <laughs> you wanted it like an hour ago, like... and now you don't want it. <laughs> so what do you want? It's like. <laughs> Like, if you want the Mitchells to be or or intent, uh, orientated, or whatever the fuck the word is, uh, uh, oriented, uh, you can fucking have it. But, you, you know what I mean? You're not oh, fucking... Oh, Mitchell, or, Mitchell oriented. Yeah, got it. Um, But if we give you that, you're not going to want it then, because you're going to go, the Mitchells are being pushed too hard. They're trying I too hard to be Peggy. Yeah. Peggy's dead. What you've been Barbara comparing them to. Dead. Get over it. Generally what you've been comparing him to. Like, it, it pisses me off. It's like, th these characters are dead. They're never coming back. Yes, we shit talk Dan. Yes, we shit talk 2018 Alfie. Well, it's mostly me. Yes, we shit talk all these characters. But we know they're dead or retconned. Barbara Windsor is not rising out of her fucking grave going, Oh, I should be Peggy today. She's fucking chilling up in heaven with having a bit of fucking scotch and rum with all the characters who are deceased. And are fucking having a great time up there playing Dark. I think it. You know, fuck off. You'll never get another Peggy Mitchell. You will never, in a million years, get another Peggy Mitchell. But you well, will you get a character who will be like Peggy. Yes. And a exactly. character who will follow in Peggy's footsteps. Never going to be Peggy will be their own character. But there will be that influence. Exactly. But uh, I've said enough about my rant before I spare everywhere. I've been a uh, piggy. I knew said Ash from watching Walford. Been joined by Ash. And um, you can follow us on. Huh? Piggy's piggy. You're tired of getting mean comments. I'm Ash. I'm Ash. Maybe Ash can get some mean comments. Fuck Ash. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we have a Patreon where you can pledge different tiers. If you want, you know, they, 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 basically the one tier will get you a certain amount. The second tier will get you the things from the first tier and the second tier. And the third tier will basically just give you all three tiers for a price of like £10. Um, we have a Discord and it's, uh, you know, you can join it. Make sure to verify your phone number. Um, yeah, we don't have any bots uh, or spam. We, yeah, and don't, please don't spam us or ping us at 2 in the morning going, why is Elaine being the second Peggy Major? I don't know, mate. Can I watch wrestling in peace, please? Can I <laughs> can I take notes in peace? Are you going to piss me off? Fuck off. Um, no one's done that so far, by the way. No one's done that Everybody's so far. Everybody's lovely in the me. Discord. Yeah. We also have a coffee, or as I pronounce it, cafe. Um, you can basically just pledge like a euro to us uh, as a one-time donation or whatever you feel like is an amount. And we will gladly accept it. We will gladly do something with that. We will plant a tree. We also have one more match, 1A2, where we review wrestling. Um, so if you like hearing me and Ash giving our opinions on EastEnders, you will like us giving our opinions on uh, wrestling because our opinions on wrestling, I think, are a bit different. They're, I think the switch is flipped. I think Ash is more the... We're, we're on the more clueless one on EastEnders. He's more the clueless one on wrestling. Yes. He still knows what's going on, but he's more like a... 
What, what do you mean Darby Allen's doing 60 bumps off a coffin? The fuck off. Yeah, I, I'm um, more of a I'm more of a jaded wrestling fan. Yeah. But so and so, I'm, like, oh, my baby. Yeah, and um and I'm basically I'm basically there trying to coach Ash to tell him what's going on. And then like for ECW we're both the same fan, we don't know what's going on. And then for the Christian twenty eleven run, we will both be the same person as we will have a one who knows all later. So yeah, follow us and you will enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, you will fucking enjoy it. Because that's what we're giving you. So enjoy you fuckers. Okay? Thank you. <laughs>